What is your problem with Kemi Badnock, then? I haven't got a problem with Kemi Badnock. I'm sure she's very good. I just think it's ludicrous for someone who's never been in the Cabinet to stand for leader of the Conservative Party. So that applies to Tom Tugendhat as well? Yeah, of course. So what's the problem with that? I mean, surely that might actually help. And It doesn't help the Conservative Party that their divisions are yet again paraded across the press. I think they, you know, the Conservative Party is supposed to be... And, and, you know, it's, it's, the, the old joke is coming back. You know, are you a member of an organised political party? No, I'm a Conservative. <laughs> and basically what they need to do is to have had a much smaller, more disciplined race and got on with it. As it is, there are people who are running who, you know, it's a bit like a, a, a youth team player at Charlton Athletic uh, suddenly saying he should be the captain of England. It's ridiculous. Mm. But do you think the fact that this has been such a truncated um, series of early votes is to do that, exactly that, to try and stop this blue-on-blue bloodletting? Well, it hasn't been truncated in one sense. Yes, you know, having these, having these uh, races uh, uh, each day and getting rid of people on quite a high threshold. But why, why shouldn't there be a threshold of 30 MPs uh, when they've got to get far more to win? Mm. But the depressing thing is, look... There's a closely guarded secret here. Someone, I'm sure, watching this programme will know the answer. Please tell us, what is the membership of the Conservative Party these days? Now, in the good old days, as I define my time in politics, it used to be at least half a million, maybe more. It's, I mean, we've been talking about it, and it's thought to be around sixty to 80,000. Is that all? Yes, wow. exactly. And then you get all the golden oldies, you know, the sort of people who deplore the death of Queen Victoria. And basically, the trouble is, once you get to the last two and you give them the vote, mm. you can be absolutely certain it'll be the most right-wing one that will get it. And the question has to be, is the most right-wing person, given they're all right-wing in different shades, is that going to be the right person? And so, who be, is, so who is the who most is the right-wing? Person? Well, I would have thought that Truss would put herself forward. as. The so most she's right the most right-wing, right but yeah. who, who would be the best person, do you think? Well, I mean, look, if we can discount all this undesirable stuff about, you know, being the kept man of his father-in-law, I think Rishi Sunak would be the best. Because, you see, look, what offends me, and I had a spell, I had, I had a spell as Chief Secretary of the Treasury, and it's grown-up economics, to hear these people talk about tax cuts, as if a tax cut is like putting 10p on the amount of money you pay on a pension or whatever. They don't seem to realise that a tax cut is the reward you offer a community when they have agreed to spend less money. And so there is more public money that can then be released to the community.